Welcome to the Mega Photoshop Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will explain how to create comic book cartoon effect. Attribution and link of image are located in my video description. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let's get started. The first step is to open an image you want to edit. Select the quick selection tool. Select around the entire model. Click on select and mask when you are done. I'm working with the overlay view. Now, I'm going to click on the refine edge brush tool and simply click and drag around the edges, to let Photoshop make a selection around those difficult to select part. If you accidentally deselected something that shouldn't be selected, use the brush tool to add to your selection. Make sure that this plus icon is selected. Use this minus icon and paint on these areas that should be deselected. This is the result. Choose, output to, new layer when you're done, then hit OK. Head up to Filter, Filter Gallery. Make sure the Artistic tab is selected. Then select Poster Edges, Edge Thickness, 8, Edge Intensity, 0, Posterization, 6. Create a new effect layer. Select Cutout, Number of Levels, 7, Edge Simplicity, 0, Edge Fidelity, 3. Hit OK when you're done. Select our filter gallery layer. Use Ctrl plus J to duplicate this layer. Head up to Filter, Stylize, Diffuse. Anisotropic check, this will soften up the edges. Then hit OK. Use Ctrl plus J to duplicate this layer. Head up to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen more. We need to make a background. To do this create a new layer, and fill it with white color. Double click it to open its layer style window, or use the right mouse button and choose blending option. Click gradient overlay in the gradient bar. Choose presets, basic, black and white. Click the black-white thumbnail in the lower left stop click the color box and choose a soft color. The blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%, check reverse, make the style radial, angle 0 degree and the scale is 100%. Drag the background layer below the filter gallery layer. Use Ctrl plus J to duplicate the top layer. Right click, convert to smart object. Then head up to filter, pixelate, color halftone. Max, radius to about 8 pixels. Keep the rest of the channels set to default. Hit OK. Change the blending mode to soft light. Bring down the layer opacity to about 30%. Select the top layer. Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to merge all visible layer. I'm going to rename it to all layers. Duplicate it. Ctrl plus J head down to FX at the bottom and choose Blending Options. Click on Stroke. Size, 27. Postion, Inside. Change the color to white, then hit OK. Head down and create a new adjustment layer, Vibrance. Bring up the Vibrance plus 24. Saturation about plus 10. Add talk bubbles to your image. To do this, choose Custom Shape Tool from the toolbar. Choose a bubble shape, then draw the bubble. Use 
Use transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command plus T and distort to adjust the size and position of the bubble. Add text inside the bubble. You can outline the text and the bubble. Right click on the suitable layer, select blending options, stroke then select the appropriate settings. This is the final result. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and like if you found this tutorial helpful.